My glasses have been crooked the whole time. <laughs> It's Becca and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today my roommate and I are going to be reacting to the Heathers episode of Riverdale. We've been watching Riverdale um, just for the fun of it because like at night it's been really fun and we're at the Heathers episode now so we figured we'd react to it because Kenzie here is a musical theater fan. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so um, she's seen the episode before and has a lot of thoughts on it, so I thought it'd be fun if we reacted to it. Um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. Then we got bigger, that was the yeah, trigger. Yeah, I sign up. <laughs> not gonna do eight minutes. No, no way, no way. <laughs> and at least Kevin's getting lines this time. That's <laughs> true. Just not today. Three, three. Oh, All right, they're together. Life can be mm, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Lasts for, I think, this episode, <laughs> basically. Pretty much, yeah. Your mom can't start dealing drugs without a lab to make them in, so you find the lab, shut it down, and stop her before she I gets a like talking about the first time That's I watched this episode week. when I had no context, <laughs> and that line just came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> weird line without context just to have in the middle of an episode. <laughs> Listen, you guys don't know what your oh kids are thinking, goodness, no. what they're dealing with. Uh -huh. why? why don't I fight back? Why do I act like such a creep? <laughs> why won't she date me? No, like, Reggie's doing great, but he's giving it his all. He's trying his best. That's all we can ask. Exactly. Very <laughs> sure of Blossom <laughs> floating above it all. Words. It's Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Heather, Heather, and Heather. She that was, was the real whole mess shot, after a breakup with Tony. Yeah. But then like, she uh, accepted the role of HBIC. Heather. It's like, it doesn't make sense. Just, just redo <laughs> it. It's so obvious. <laughs> I hadn't noticed it until she pointed it out, but yeah. It's just, redo it's it. It's so obvious. It is. Just, it's not that hard. You can just redo it. You can, you can redo it. It just doesn't hit the same if Veronica's not there. Like, Heather's not Yeah. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, herself? Who are they making beautiful? Herself? <laughs> I never thought, I thought about she that was before. already just pretty to begin with, but I think they all are. It's like I don't want trouble. You're gonna die at 3 p.m. <laughs> don't you dare <laughs> touch me. Get away from What did I ever do to them? <laughs> you do not look like that No, you look <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Greetings, Heather's family. Now, before we start today, there's been a slight change to our creative team. You all know Evelyn Ever Never has been helping me produce I didn't. the musical. Would've been good. But I've also asked Evelyn. No, you always direct the musical alone. Which has been incredibly stressful, Betty. Especially after last year's events. <sighs> Can we just I mean though, like not talk about me? I get it. Like please. I don't know why. No. Like I don't like How about your rundown of like, everybody's parts and catch everyone up to speak. Right, like yeah. I'm playing. Uh, we don't like Sawyer. Evelyn. But Outcast, if Kevin Heather, says Outcast again. Hi, I'm then he doesn't have to direct alone. <laughs> also, <laughs> why did they bother casting people to play Veronica and JD if they're not going to do anything with them later? Right. There is no point in them being casted. Sweepy never sings a JD song. No. <laughs> there is not a single solo JD song in this episode. No, which is a crime. But because they're so good, but it's fine. Uh, it's, it's, it's whatever. It's, it's whatever. It's it's fine. No, it's not. But whatever. I like looking hot, buying stuff they cannot. I like drinking hard, Max and Dad's credit card. I like There's just no gym, energy her, and her screw and him. Like in comparison to the original, like it just right. feels very flat. Right, like, everyone's going hard on the, the off-Broadway version. Yeah. The worst year of change. <laughs> I just, who calls someone a doorknob? <laughs> like if I'm mad at someone, I'm not just gonna be like, oh, you're such a doorknob. Like that's not an insult. <laughs> he just chose a word and was like, that's the one. A doorknob. 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 They could have just repeated loser or done other, any other actual insulting word. Other than doorknob. <laughs> other than doorknob. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. It doesn't, it just doesn't sound right. No. It sounds weird. Yeah. Yeah. 
It doesn't even, it doesn't fit. No, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> You can join the team, or you can bitch and moan, or you can live the dream, or you can- I'll be honest, I don't like either of the choreographies. Like, they look great doing it, but the choreo is not the strongest. <laughs> Down the octave? Solid. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't hit the same, but I'd rather hear them do that than not be able to do the high harmony. True. Down I'll take one. That's the spirit. <laughs> what does Kevin just do? Wait. I wonder what your father Edgar would say about all of it. <laughs> a hot guy smiled at me without a trace of mockery. Okay. She's hot. She <laughs> what the f why? <laughs> so many things. First, why cut out the woe? Uh -huh. It's just, you could have made it an O, oh, even if it, you didn't want it to be a surprise kind of thing. Yeah. Because then you just have this weird awkward silence where they're just staring at they're each other. They're just staring. <laughs> Like they're up against the wall and neither. They're just like. They're just like. It doesn't uh -huh. make the <laughs> Whoa. A hot guy smiled at me without a trace of mockery. I can even understand a hot guy smiled at me. Sure, you'd be excited about that. Without a trace of mockery, Veronica could probably get any hot guy she wanted. Any guy she wanted. She's hot. She's funny. She's like. Powerful. Mm -hmm. And if that didn't work, she's rich too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I don't understand why they gave her that line other than wanting Reggie to say, Veronica, you are looking good tonight and mm -hmm. not have to change Veronica. Yeah. But does it make sense to then have this Veronica <laughs> respond? No, it's, it's very odd. I've never understood. No, doesn't make sense. They just did this so that Reggie didn't have to change the name for Veronica. You were looking good tonight. Exactly. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. No. <laughs> Whatever. It, it I, was a choice they made. It, it certainly was a choice they made. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yep. <laughs> I feel like Bono and Live Aid. You can tell he's done theater before it and no one else. Like, his voice is so obviously theater yeah. compared to everyone else's. It sounds so different than everyone else's. Not in like a bad way, it's just that nobody else has done anything like this, clearly. Right. Like they could have done theater in the past, but his voice is so, like he has the vibrato, he has everything. It's mm -hmm. very clear when it switches to him. So, last night was big so, fun. Last night was big fun. Now it's she keeps saying be. that, and it's, so it's really weird. So we're share something that we've never told anyone before. I've been seeing her too. Not her ghosts, but in nightmares. <laughs> How beautiful. That's beautiful. Through revealing their truth, men have I don't know. <laughs> See your dead connection around. Perhaps more. How beautiful. So, hmm. um. <laughs> Those seats look really uncomfortable. Okay, this is turning into a horror movie. What's your damage? <laughs> You're wearing my signature color. You don't own the color red. Red existed before you. Not at Riverdale High. Here? I'm I invented red. red. I, I am, am red. red. But you have until first bell, Monday, to clear every trace of yourself out of these halls. Copy. Because Cheryl can totally control what school Tony goes to. For sure. Yes. Just like this. Heather Chandler can control what school Veronica goes to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely not a just random, <laughs> random conversation to set up dead girl walking. Spend these 30 hours getting freaky. In the school. How did, she didn't even say anything to them. She just grabbed their hands and they like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm ready for this one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> on the stage. Yeah. It's like, that is one of the most public places in a school that you can have this happen. Hold you. <laughs> I know they can't say the original line, but that just... It just doesn't get a cuddle. <laughs> yeah, like, that's not... I mean, it doesn't... No. Works for me. Stop. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought you guys here. I can't do this. You're just gonna leave them? Just left them. 
I so understand saying no, that's fine. But just yeah, leave yeah. them on stage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not wearing much clothes. Nope. Our love is gone. This scene confused me so much when I watched it. Because I watched it the first time without ever seeing Riverdale. Uh -huh. This is the episode. Yeah. I had no clue what was happening. Yeah, that's fair. They're having this whole like emotional like confession for one another. And I think Kevin was literally just with Moose like two episodes many. ago. Like they just... weren't in a cult together. <laughs> no, they weren't in a cult together. And that's the difference. I wanted to talk random, to you. But how does Wait. this random like old boxing ring have like Can I go first? Shirts. <laughs> That's, like, no, that's a good point. Like, why do they just have, like, shirts? They must have just had some, like, in the back room. So, <laughs> left over. I guess so. Let's start figuring- I'm gonna sing, fight for you, fight for me. Fight for me. Yeah. Hey, Mr. No Name Kid. You know she his knows name. His name. <laughs> you know his name. This song. <laughs> I could go on so long about this song. Mm -hmm. So we watched Heather's the other day for yes. the first time. I showed her the actual musical mm -hmm. after we watched this episode. Yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> now I have pretty much the whole recording on my Spotify playlist. So, <laughs> But this song is a comedic song. Yeah, like, definitely. Yes, a part of Veronica is meaning what, what she's saying to JD. It's mm -hmm. kind of a whole thing. But the whole thing is time is stopped and JD and Ram and Kurt are slow-mo fighting while everyone in the background is just going, holy shit. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not a song. It should be super serious. No. And for some reason, they've decided Let's make this this serious slow duet about fighting for fighting for love and making things work. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not at all what this is, and just no. makes this seem very disingenuous. Definitely. <laughs> but also, she knows his name. Yeah, that line makes no sense. About if we're, forget everything else, she knows his <laughs> name. <laughs> if Veronica didn't know JD's name. That made sense. Yeah, exactly. he wouldn't tell her. He did the whole. I didn't throw it line, <laughs> which because he, he's a cool, edgy kid. So yeah. <laughs> gotta throw that in there. But even we know his name. That is, that is Archie, <laughs> Archie Andrews. You know his name, Josie. We all know his name. They've been friends for years. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't I, know why they did this song this way. No, me neither. This is, this is dumb. <laughs> Could you be seen with me? And it's so slow and sensual. Yeah. I think it's because he has so much air when he sings. Which makes it sound more intimate than the uh -huh. song is. Yeah. Veronica Bell. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you can punch real good. You've lasted <laughs> He's a boxer. I hope he can punch he, at least he, decently. He can't punch real good as a boxer. This was my child at home. My mom destroyed it. This whole plot line's gonna be so confusing if you were watching this without context. Oh, it was! <laughs> but it was okay because this is the only song that I completely like <laughs> in, in this episode. Yeah. Mothers. I have one tiny issue that we'll get fathers. to one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, Seventeen two, captures okay. the longing all the characters feel this for what they've song. lost. Why? Why? They're teen. <laughs> okay, so why have Sweet Pea and Josie ha like get introduced to the song like they're going to sing it as their characters would sing the song, and then how don't have them sing it? <laughs> why? What is the point of this? You just want to <laughs> have Betty and Jughead. And Tony and Cheryl sing the song. Great, I don't have an issue with that. Why put this in here? Exactly. Why? There is no reason. It's just so that they have context for the song before. They, they haven't had context for any other song. <laughs> no other song has had context except them kind of opening up the idea of Heather's <laughs> to the parents. But like, no other song has had context, so why, why do we need context now? Maybe it's just so the audience knows, hey, this is an emotional moment if you can't gather from everyone crying when they're singing Crying, staring deep into each other's <laughs> eyes. If you can't tell, 
You're supposed to be feeling emotions. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to hear Sweet Pea sing. He Sorry. Has, it sounds like he has a decent voice. Like his lines in Big Fun were pretty solid. Uh-huh. He gets less lines than Reggie, which is a <laughs> crime. <laughs> JD has actual songs. He's got multiple songs, <laughs> which are some of the best songs in the whole show. Meant to be yours. Freeze your brain. Meant to be yours. He didn't sing in Our Love is God, which is the whole point of the song. Exactly. <laughs> like, and he doesn't sing when they sing 17 either. It's like, why, it just, why cast them as these two characters if you're not gonna do anything with them. At least Josie got to sing Fight For Me. Was it not a good version <laughs> of it? Yes, but at least she got to sing a Veronica right. song. Right. So why are we doing this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Don't you want a life with me? She sounds really good here. Everyone? Except for one part sounds really good in this song. Yes. And he, he doesn't sound bad. It's just not, not the best in comparison to everything else. Right. It's the weakest of this song. Yeah. And you're right, that really blows. It's just too low for him. Yeah. It's not bad. It just doesn't sound like that's naturally in his range. No. However, the chorus? Yeah. The chorus is really good. Like, it's not bad. It's no. just not. It's the weakest part of this song. Yeah, definitely. Can we be 17? But I'd argue yeah. he's extremely strong it's there. so good there. Like, his voice stands out in a great way. Yeah, definitely. Part. It helps that he's the only male voice in this song, but, like, it still stands out. Yeah. Like, once it gets, like, a little higher, more into his range, it definitely sounds so much better. Oh, for an actor who didn't want to sing, he's really killing some yeah, high exactly. notes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, he was so adamant in the first music episode that he did not want to sing. And here he is pulling this out of nowhere. Like, okay. <laughs> like, he can do this and he didn't want to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> when they decide to just not have the person playing the character to sing the songs, <laughs> it actually turns out good. <laughs> I, okay, I get why Jughead wasn't JD. However, that would have fit better. I feel like it would have fit better. I understand though, because that seems out of character for Jughead. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he is more of the like loner bad boy type, but he's not the blow up a school, vo get violent <laughs> type, you know? But I would have loved to see him sing at least one JD song. Yeah. Like, I mean, he doesn't even have to play JD to sing a JD song. We can just give him... I mean, they set fire to something later. <laughs> they get a shoehorn meant to be yours. Exactly! <laughs> that would have been fantastic. That would have made the episode. <laughs> I just find a, find a way to fit it in. Exactly. <laughs> Devastating loneliness your character feels at this particular moment, but it seems like you're already there, so take it away. Out of pocket. That was like... <laughs> okay, Kevin. <laughs> so protective of Heather McNamara though, so. I don't, I think, obviously this song fits Veronica's character, right. but she should not have been Heather McNamara. I think she would have fit Heather Duke a lot more. But, yeah. But they wanted her to sing this song, so they had to do this. Makes sense. Like, I get it, but, like, it feels like it doesn't fit. <laughs> and they skip the best part of this song. But I yeah. do have a request to me. The, the actual emotional climax of the song. Mm -hmm. They're just like, Come no, to me sing that. Together. Yep. I thought I was captain. Still. I also have never understood that go. very change. Mm -hmm. Like, in relation to the plot, well, who made her captain would have still fit. Or who made him captain, even that would have fit. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't really make sense. It didn't need to change. No. Dad, if you're okay, I think Betty and I are gonna ride ahead and just meet you at the play. Okay. I was well, trying that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not a play. It's a musical, but it's friends, whatever. <laughs> so later? I knew you wanted to say it. I did so bad. <laughs> Make sure he Less than ten minutes. For the okay. My line. Yeah. I'm not part of the cast. 
No, it's kind of a big statement song now. Everyone's wants everyone in it. I know, but so Betty weird. just missed the whole musical. Just a costume change. Come on. Did she? <laughs> I've never thought about that. If they came just in time for the last number, they just missed the whole so that had the Heather Duke the whole show. Why? What the? That never hit. That never hit me. What the? Why? Where? I don't understand the timeline. Like, so they had to leave. Like, Jacket's family had to leave in ten minutes. Uh huh. Because. They're going to the play. The play. <laughs> right. So then Jughead and Betty were like, oh, we'll leave a little bit ahead. We gotta go, we gotta go do something. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go burn down my trailer. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so they go to burn down the trailer. They all go to the show, uh -huh. which Jughead's not in, so they must just be going for Betty. Yeah. However, if they just showed up at the end for Betty to explain, oh, there's a big statement piece, like, we just gotta get ready and then we'll go on, everyone's in it. Uh-huh. But she's just not there. <laughs> she just missed the whole show. <laughs> Did she just never show up? Like, how was, okay, how was Kevin okay with all of that? Oh, if, if we didn't show, like, if we just didn't show up to a show, I don't even want to, what, what would imagine. Yeah. I cannot speak English. I don't want to imagine <laughs> what would have happened. Mm -hmm. If we were late, we would get, not yelled at, but we'd get a disappointed, like, come on, kind of look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> imagine not showing up until like, the finale. How do you get away with that? And it's not like they're performing this multiple times. Right. So the one time they perform this <laughs> show, there's just no Heather Duke. That's never hit me until literally right Same. now. Same. I just never thought. I thought they just went, burnt the trailer down real quick, and then they showed back up. But then you hear Kevin say, like, all right, get ready for the last one. We're going to get ready for the last number. It's like, what do you mean? Why are we getting ready for the last number? And she's obviously in a Heather Duke costume. Yeah. So she is Heather Duke. And yeah. no one else is in a Heather Duke costume. No, and they, like, establish it pretty early that she was Heather Duke. <laughs> so and I highly doubt that there's enough people willing to do this. They have understudies. So what is happening? I don't know. <laughs> also, speaking of what is happening, why does Jughead have a solo line and how does he know it? Exactly. <laughs> I don't get it. It's It's all very odd. We'll endure it. We'll survive it. Martha, are you free Who's Martha? Tonight? Who's Martha? Who's Martha? I've never seen a Martha or anyone playing a Martha in this episode. It's because they can't. I know. Because mm -hmm. they're all hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Martha's not supposed to be hot. No. So. Talk about what we may not also, why? Been. Usually just Ronnie. Still, I miss you. Uh huh. And also, how is Cheryl? Cheryl's not supposed to be in this song. And no, neither dead. would be <laughs> Reggie or, I'm guessing, Archie. Yeah, Archie's the other one. Yeah. They're two straight dudes doing theater. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> so, they should not be in this song. Why is it so dramatic? I, like, I love how the guys are just... And the girls are doing, like, weird arm things. It's giving... A legal house. <laughs> <laughs> So why are they dancing? I don't. It's like the ending of the show. They're all standing still. It's like a moment. But they're not in a they're in a line. Uh huh. Not in a line in front of the stage. Uh huh. They're not just being dramatic. But everyone looks confused. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> and then my favorite part. There it is. <laughs> the best part. I knew my dad would like it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a line, I just didn't know what it meant. Girl, you're on stage. You say, yeah. You like it. I knew my dad would like it. Also, there was definitely not that many people in the like, sitting in the audience until now. Yeah. Also, I wanna know how many tries it took for them to get this, right? <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, so that was Riverdale's Heather's episode. Yeah. It, it was it was it was an episode. It sure was an episode <laughs> of television that I have now watched probably five times. Because it's so bad it's good and I keep coming back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's a, certainly a thing that they did. For sure. Mm-hmm. You can say that. 
yeah. My question is why, if you have to change so many lines from the original right. to make it fit for television, maybe that's a sign that it's just not fit for television. Yeah, I <laughs> I don't understand. Like the whole dead girl walking thing, that didn't need to be in there. No, it really didn't. I think it's just like, they knew it was an iconic song, so they had to include it, but it did not fit. It felt very random and just out of place <laughs> and odd and like why are they having a threesome on the stage <laughs> and then they did include it but they had to change like a lot of it yeah like there was barely anything that was the <laughs> same from that you could have just saved so much time and just not included the song exactly. a song like that specifically mm -hmm. like i yeah. understand big fun because you only have to change some of the lines uh-huh Beautiful, you can cut out seven minutes of the song. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it's it, it's a choice. Mm -hmm. It's a choice. Yeah. Some line changes were better than others. Doorknob. Doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> Candy Store really is a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag of uh -huh. the line changes in the first verse. Pretty solid. Yeah. Doorknob. Doorknob. <laughs> you ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, <laughs> and I thought the going back and forth between Cheryl and Tony was a little weird. Like, I get what they were trying to do story-wise, it just sounded not great. In yeah. that song, their voices did not blend very well together. Yeah, they have very different singing styles. Uh -huh. In 17, they sounded fantastic. Yeah. 17 is a highlight, definitely. So, oh, for sure, it is a standout of the episode. Yeah. I genuinely would listen to that song. Is it because I really like Cole Sprouse? Maybe. Maybe. But also, it's a genuinely good song. Yeah, they did a really good job with that. I'm glad that they did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a good inclusion. Yeah, definitely. So I'm glad they did that song. I'm very mad that they didn't do any JD songs because it hurts because <laughs> they're some of the best. <laughs> He's like a major character, but it's fine. Just don't talk about him Yeah, at all. just have him mentioned like twice. <laughs> In passing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like, all right, give Sweet Pea the super important role that he does nothing with. He just has. Yep. Because mm -hmm. Veronica at least got one Veronica, not Veronica, Josie got one <laughs> Veronica song. Right. <laughs> so there's at least that. Yeah. But... Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a ton of fun. Um, if you want us to react to anything else, just let me know and we can probably do that. <laughs> we don't do much. So. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's gonna be it for the video. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.